in this video I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your version 6.1.3 iDevice. And for more information, I just want to say that it only supports the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPod 4. The reason why we have to use a different software called Red Snow is because the version 6.1.3 patches evasion. And also this is a semi-tethered or semi-untethered jailbreak. Even though I don't su support those jailbreaks, I'm making a video on it. So if, if what semi-tethered or untethered means is when you reboot your device, instead of having to connect to your computer to have functionality, you will have limited functionality, but very, very low functionality. But you can still use your iDevice after rebooting it in the jailbreak. So now I'll tell you how to jailbreak your iDevice. So first you need to download Red Snow and your IPSW for version 6.0. The reason it's version 6.0 is to trick Red Snow into thinking that you're using 6.0 when you're actually using 6.1.2. So I'll leave the links in the description. The first one is to download Red Snow, so download for your computer. The next one is for the IPSW for the your iPhone 4 or 3GS or your iPod 4 generation, the one that I'm using. And before I start the jailbreak, I'd like to show proof that mine is actually version 6.1.3. As you can see, it is version 6.1.3. So first open Red Snow. And now first you must connect your iDevice using the cable that Apple has provided you when you bought your iDevice. So connect it. Now it will say that your iPod is connected or your iDevice is connected version 6.1.3. So first, before you press jailbreak, you want to go to extras, and you should go to select IPSW, and I saved mine on the desktop, open, and then there will be a pop-up saying that it was identified, and it will be used for the rest of the Red Snow session. So press OK, and then go back and click jailbreak now you can tick off install Cydia for sure you must tick this but this is only this will only be ticked if you have an iPod 4 generation and it is optional so you don't need to do this but I'm doing it so after you're done click next and then it will tell you to continue to make your iPod into DFU mode. But you can do that ahead of time. So first hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. And then hold only the home button for another 10 to 15 seconds. And I'll automatically skip the screen and your iPod will be in DFU mode and Red Snow will continue. Now as you can see it's in downloading the jailbreak data. At this time please don't touch any of your iDevice buttons like the home button, the power button, the volume buttons because it might interfere with the jailbreak. So just let the jailbreak continue. And now even though Red Snow says it's done, it's actually not. So just press OK and let your iDevice continue. And I also forgot to mention, but keep your iDevice plugged in at all times. Now it's installing the jailbreak data and moving applications. Do not worry if this part takes quite a bit of time. So don't reboot your device because it might screw up your device and interfere with the jailbreak. So just wait for the moving application part to finish.
Now the moving icon application part is done in installing bundles. As you can see, that was the fastest part, but moving applications was the slowest part. So don't worry, it will just continue and reboot your device. And now your iDevice is done rebooting, but the jailbreak is still not complete. So now reopen Red Snow. And it will say that your device is connected. Go to Extras. And then go to Select IPSW. Select your IPSW again for 6.0. Press OK. Then press Just Boot. And then put your iDevice into DFU mode again. So hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. And then release the power button and hold the home button for another 10 to 15 seconds. And now we'll bypass the screen and I'll continue booting the device. You will need to do this process every single time that your iPod or uh, every time your iDevice has to reboot, it will go into the theater mode and then you won't be able to use your applications. It will be limited so you must go and do this process again from the starting point of reopening Red Snow and then going to extra select IPSW and then boot to get full functionality. Then after that, oh, this symbol will come for the booting and it might take a little longer than normal reboot so don't worry and red snow will say done but it's actually not so keep your eye device connected and let it continue now that's done rebooting slide to unlock and as you can see on the second screen there will be Cydia so then now open Cydia and select user hacker developer, it doesn't really matter. Now Cydia will load up. And if I scroll down to the bottom you can see that it says iPod 4G iOS 6.1.3 and since it's a tethered jailbreak you, might need, you must need to add another source to make it semi-tethered. So go to sort manage sources edit add and then add the source which will be in the description below so I'll just type it in now D T H E big boss B I G B O S S dot org dot O R G slash semi better S E M I T E T H E R add source and you need this source to make your iDevice semi tethered I'll show this after it's done downloading the package and it'll, I'll reboot it and show that it will be semi tethered which I also explained in the beginning of the video but I'll explain again so semi tethered means you'll have functionality but not the full functionality which means you can't use Safari or Open Cydia during this process. It's better than tethered because then in tethered you must connect it to, to Red Snow to continue using your iDevice. But this you can use it with limited functionality but you must connect it to Red Snow to have the full functionality. Return to Cydia. Now the last two, three instance of upgrades, but I'll ignore it temporarily. So then you go to the bigboss.org and install semi tether. And now install this. This is the package that you need to make it semi tether. And then restart your springboard. And 
now slide to unlock and your iDevice will have this semi theater icon. So now I'll reboot my iDevice to show how it works. So I'll unplug it from Red Snow. And as you can see right now, Safari works. Cydia also works. So now I'll power off my device and show you that I'll have limited functionality. You do not need to do this, but I'm only doing it for the purpose of the video. Now the iDevice is done, and you'll see that it actually works, and you don't have to right away connect it to Red Snow. So I'll unlock my device, and I'll show you that Safari doesn't work. It'll close. And same with Cydia. It'll close out of it. So that's the functionality of semi tethered As I said before, if you want to get it out of this mode, you must go and to go to Red Snow Extras, and then redo the just boot process that I did previously in the video. And that's all for this video. You have a jailbroken eye device now for version 6.1.3. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I also opened a Twitter account, and I also have my website, so those links will be in the description. And thanks again for watching.